Hi, good, good evening, class. How are you? Good evening, Miss. Good, good evening. evening, Miss. Hi. Hey. How is everybody today? Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um, Okay, well, um, well, today class um, is this the last day of our class together. Imagine this, it's by, it's gone by so quickly in the last, the last day of class today. Um, everybody is almost finished with the, with the platform, if not finished. Are you finished? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, all right, good. Good, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Um, so uh, today class, we're going to be finishing, like I said, uh, the last topic. We started looking at the topic yes, um, yesterday, and today we're going to be finishing this topic, okay? So what I'm going to do, first of all, uh, first of all, before anything, um, I'm gonna just talk to you in Spanish for a moment. Uh, Solamente quería asegurarme um, si alguien tiene alguna pregunta de en cuanto a la plataforma. Eh, o sea, en, en general alguna pregunta que tengan o si tienen um, alguna duda de los documentos o cualquier cosa ahí de que se necesiten saber. Algo que quieran. No, no, entonces to, todo está claro hasta el momento cómo es que eh, se va a proceder para la documentación que les estaba explicando, eh, um, que les estaba explicando el día de ayer. Sí, yes, sí. ¿Todo está bien entonces? Sí, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, en ese caso, entonces, eh, bueno, vamos a entonces proceder ahí con um, lo que les estaba diciendo. Uh, vamos a ver el último tema. Eh, que El último tema ahí de, de, um, de la plataforma. Vamos a practicarlo y también ver um, el, eh, el examen final. Ok. Um, ok. No problem. No problem, good event. That's fine. Ok. So, we are going to um, start. First of all, eh, like I said before, um, I'm going to start. Okay. All right. Very good. That's that's fine, Jenny. Um, okay. So um, what we're going to start with is the, first of all talking a little bit about abilities. Okay. When we have abilities or talents. Okay. Let's talk about abilities or talents. Sorry, talents, abilities or talents. So we use, to talk about abilities, we use the model. Um, okay. 
We use the model. Um, can can and can't okay. we use can or uh, when it's when you have the ability or the talent and we use cans when the talent does not exist okay when there is no talent then you use can't, okay? When there's no ability, also we use can't, okay? So, example, and, uh, and, and by the way, the structure, well, let me give you first the, the examples here. So we use I, let's change the color. So I use I I can mm, dance in tango, okay? Or you can um, cook. Chinese food. Okay. Or she can work. Uh, no. Let's say she can um, she can sing beautifully. Or he can um, he can, um, he can uh, create, he can create, um, he can create a, he can create a big, uh, no, let me see, he can, or no, maybe not, not create, let's change it to make. He can make a table. So he's a carpenter, okay? Or you can say, we can, um, we can uh, say tongue twisters. Do you know what a tongue twister is? Do you, do you know the word tongue twister? This word here, do you know? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Do you know, do you know, so what is, what is a tongue twister? Can you explain to me what a tongue, a tongue twister is? Trabalenguas. Yeah. Trabalenguas. Exactly, un trabalengua, right? Very good, okay. So, um, so we can say tongue twisters, we can make a term, okay? Or you can um, speak a little English now, okay? Like I'm, I'm saying you as the whole class, right? Or we can say they can, um, they can, let's see a talent, they can, uh, Ability to, they can speak. Um, oh no, well, I already said speak. They can write in Japanese. Okay. All right. So these are some of the structures, some of the things that we can. Um, wait, I'm just going to. I'm going to put this a little bit higher. Okay. 
Thank you. So these are some of the of the words that we can use. Oh, sorry, some of the structures that we can use here when we are um, talking about abilities or um, or talents, right? So we say, for example, um, so I want I, I want to to talk to you guys about the structure that we have here. So for abilities. Um, or talents, what we do is we use um, so we use first of all the subject, okay, and then we use can okay, or can, okay, and um, and then we use the verb in the base form. In the base form plus a complement if it's necessary. If you think if you think it's necessary. Okay. It's not always necessary. You don't need to add a complement. But if you want, you can use a complement. Okay. So that's the structure that we use here. Hmm. Second. Hmm. Let me see if I can if I can move this a little bit. Maybe I'm going to put the so over here, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oops. Okay. Um, okay. So that's the structure we're going to be using. Any questions about the structure? Any questions? No? Okay. So I, I want you to notice here when, um, okay, so for example, it, with the, with the, um, we'll start with here with this, trying to figure out what the structure here we are. So we have the first thing is the, sub, the subject, right? Which we have over here, I. And then here we have you. Okay. Then we have she. Then we have he. We have we. You. And they. Okay, I have done this on purpose. I have shown you all of the all of the um, the different subjects, okay? And after the subjects, if you notice, we use the model and the model that we're using here is can, okay, or can, okay? So we use, um, so that's, that's a, the main part here. So if you notice, we always use can, okay, can. So you, so I can, you can, she can, a, he can, I forgot to put it, but also it can, uh, we can, um, okay. 
you can, they can. All right, so we always are gonna be using can. And after can, we have the verb in the base form, okay? So we always use the verb in the base form. Um, so, um, change the color. So we have the verb in the base form. Um, so that means that, oops, let me change. Okay, so we have here the verb in the base form. So we use dance, okay, cook, sing, make, let's say, speak. and write. Okay. So what I want you to notice is that the independent of the subject, we always use the base form of the verb. So I dance, you cook, she sing, he make, not he makes. Okay. Um, so she sing, not she sings. Okay. We say you speak, they write. It's always going to be in the base form. Okay, and after that, we're going to be doing the, the complement if necessary. Okay, here we have tango, Chinese food, uh, beautifully, that's the complement here, a table, um, tongue twisters, a little English now and Japanese. Now I have made all of these affirmative, but it's also put to possible to make it negative, okay? Um, and I'm going to give you some, some, some structures that are negative. Example, I can say it can't, um, it can't uh, work without without um, it can't work without um, without uh, paper. Okay. So, for example, a fax machine. A fax machine can't work without paper. No puede funcionar sin el papel. La, la máquina fax, right? It's impossible. So it's, a not, it's an ability, right? Or we can say, I can't, uh, I can't, um, let's say, I can't, uh, sleep for more, or more than 10 hours, let's say. Or maybe, maybe so I can't sleep during the day. Let's say I can't sleep during the day. Some people can't sleep during the day. Alguna gente no puede dormir um, durante el día, right? Or we can say, for example, uh, we can't, we can't, Um, we can't uh, play, no, I'm sorry. we can't drive. Okay, so drive. We can't drive. Okay, so it's also possible to use the negative, right? So the same thing here, um, just so that you can see here. Um, We continue using 
the structure here, it, okay, we have it third person singular, I and we. Okay, and then we have the, um, In this case, we're using can't, right? Not can because it's negative. Okay, so we're using can't. Ah, sorry. We can't. Okay. And then we use um, make. Sleep and drive. Okay. And finally, we have the complement. Without paper, sin papel, during the day, durante el día. And here, we do not have any complement because remember, the complement is optional, right? The complement is optional. You don't need to use it. That's that's why I put it in parentheses. Okay. So is this clear for you? Is this clear? Yes or no? Yes. Questions? I am preguntas ahorita. Ahorita hay chance para que podamos responderle sus preguntas. Sorry, I, I can't hear you. Porque al verbo de a lo que se refiere a she and he no se les agrega la S como make o thing. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. Excellent question. Okay, the reason is because can is what we call it's it's a model it's a model that we call it well it's what we call the a model auxiliary okay this can is an auxiliary okay it's an auxiliary it's what we call a model auxiliary at this yama model auxiliary and the rule is after model auxiliaries we always 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 put in the base form that is the rule okay the rule after after model auxiliaries we use base form of the verb okay so 100% de las veces después vamos a usar el base form of the verb después del model auxiliary okay van a aprender a medida que van a pasar el tiempo van a aprender acerca de muchos otros model auxiliaries y esa, esa regla aplica a todos. Todos los model auxiliaries se van a usar siempre. El verbo después del model auxiliary tiene que ir en el base form, no en el the, the original form. ¿Ok? ¿Es that clear? Yes. Yes? Yes. Questions? Okay. All right. Good. But that is that is for affirmative and negative. Now, how do you make questions? Questions is super easy. Super, super easy. Okay. All you do by, for example, you can cook Chinese food. But vamos a tomar esta. I'm going to change it here. I'm going to take. I'm going to take it as an example. Okay. You can cook Chinese food. I'm going to make this a question, and all I do to make the question is I invert can and the subject. Okay. So instead of saying you can. 
I'm going to change it. I'm going to say, can you? Can you? So not, not you can, but can you? Can you cook Chinese food? Can you cook Chinese food? Okay, see, very easy, right? So not you can, but can you? So you reverse, okay? So we are going to reverse. So changing the positions, okay? All right, actually I'm going to move this over here. Okay. All right, so that's one. Uh, now, this one, we'll do, we'll do this one. We'll do the he, okay? So, I'm gonna change it to he. Ah, okay, so. Okay, so over here. So now we're going to make he. So instead of saying he can, I'm going to reverse it and I'm going to say, what am I going to say? Can he. he, he exactly. Very good. We're going to reverse it and we're going to say he, instead of saying he can, we're going to say can he. Can he make a table and of course make sure you add the question mark don't forget the question mark okay all right um, and and I'm, I'm going to do another one um this one right here i'm going to do this one okay all right Okay, so instead of saying they can write in Japanese, what is the question? Can they write in Japanese? Exactly. So you're gonna say, we're gonna reverse. They can, can they? Can they write in Japanese? Oops, Japanese. Japanese. Can they write in Japanese? Okay. So what is the structure of the questions? The structure is the following. We use can plus the subject plus the verb in base form, base form, and if necessary, we're going to put a complement. And of course, question mark. Any questions about this? Questions? Any 
Any questions? No? So it's clear? It's clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Solo, solo como, como se responde, I can, okay. por ejemplo. Right. Good. So what, what we're going to do now is we're going to, so that's the questions, okay? Now let's do the answers, okay? So the answer is going to be, uh, we're going to be answering in two ways, okay? We can answer yes plus subject plus can, okay? Or no plus subject plus can't. There you go. That's the structure. Yes plus subject plus can, or no plus subject plus can't. Okay, that's how you're going to be answering. Okay, so um, okay. So, for example, for this one, can you cook Chinese food? The answer is going to be yes. Yes, what? Yes. I can. I can. Very good. Yes, I can. Because you're go you're going to be answering Joe, right? Yes, I can. Okay. So I can actually. Okay. I'm going to change the color. Um, let's do change it to this color. So, yes, I can. Or, or you can say no. No, what? No, I can't. Good. I can't. Hmm? Okay. Can he make a table? Can you make a table? What's the answer? Yes, he can. Yes, very good. Yes, he, oh, sorry. Yes, he can. Or no, he can't. Okay. No, he can't. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. Can they write Japanese? The answer is yes. They, they can. They, they can. 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 Mm -hmm. Or no. No, they can't. No, they can't. Okay. All right, now be careful when you say this, this word here, you pronounce it can, can. Yes, they can, ka, ah, ah, ah. can, yes, they can. And this one is, no, they can't, no, they can't. So this one is pronounced can't, can't, can, can't, can, can't, okay? So yes, they can, no, they can't. Yeah, is that clear? Yes, they can, no, they can't. All right, is that clear? Yes. Yes. So yes, they can, no, they can't. Okay, also over here, so this is where we are, we are emphasizing the can. Yes, I can. Now over here though, the pronunciation is a little bit different because with these ones, you're emphasizing more this word, dance, not so much can. So you say, I can 
I can dance tango. I can dance tango. You can you can uh, cook Chinese food. She can sing beautifully. He can't make it. Sorry, he can make a um, a table. We can um, say tongue twisters. You can speak a little um, English now. They can write in Japanese. It can't work. It can't work without a paper. Without a paper. I can't sleep during the day. We can't write. It. Okay. All right. So, any questions about this? Any questions? No? Clear? Yeah? Okay. Okay. In that case, what we're going to do is we're going to practice. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop sharing here. And we're going to be Give me a second. Ahorita que están viendo. Sample conversation. Station. Okay. So then I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. Let me see let me try that again. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. What can you see in this moment? What can you see? Se pueden ver. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. All right. What I want you so right now let's start. We have two people here. We have Kelly and Peter. Okay. So tell me what Kelly can do. What can she do? So Kelly can. Here are the things that they can do and they can't do. What can Kelly do? Kelly can play basketball. Excellent. Kelly can play basketball. Very good. What's another thing that Kelly can do? Something, another thing? Play the soccer. Good. Kelly can play soccer. Very good. Give me complete sentences. Another thing, what, what can Kelly do? Kelly play tennis. Okay, so Kelly, Ke Kelly can play tennis. Exactly, Kelly can play tennis. Very good. Okay, excellent. All right, another one. Kelly, how do you say a scarf? Ski. Oh. Kelly can ski. Good, Kelly can ski, very good. Kelly can ski, very good. Okay, now what about Peter? What can Peter do? What can Peter do? Peter can? Peter can play soccer. Excellent, good. What else, what can Peter do? Peter can play tennis. Good, Peter can play tennis. Very good, he can play tennis, yes. 
What else? What else can Peter do? What else can Peter do? Es que es baseball. El otro. Es que no entiendo la imagen. <laughs> this one. Mm -hmm. yes. Ah, it's um. Huh. Es como fútbol it's... americano, creo. Fut... Mm. No creo porque no tienen. Es que, eh, no sé. Uno está agachado esperando la pelota que le va a tirar el supuestamente está adelante. I think it's rugby. Mm -hmm. Rugby? ¿No saben de ese deporte rugby? No. Creo, creo que es rugby. Rugby es originario de, de, um, de New Zealand. Mm -hmm. um, ok, so, so Peter can play rugby play rugby very good peter can play rugby okay good yes but what can what can Kel, what can't kelly do what are things that kelly can't do kelly can't Kelly can't basket. No, she can she can play basketball. Kelly can play basketball. What can she do? Uh, a horse. Uh, okay. okay. Yes. She, Kelly can't ride a horse. Ride the horse. Ride a horse. Yes. Kelly can't ride a horse. Good. What else? Uh, what else can uh, Kelly do? She can't play rugby. Exactly. She can't play rugby. Very good. What about Peter? What can't Peter do? Peter can't play basketball. Good. Peter can't play basketball. Mm -hmm. Good. What else? He can't ride a horse. Good. He can't ride a horse. Good. Okay. And one more thing he can't do. He can ski. Good. He can't ski. Peter can't ski, exactly, very good. Okay, so what I want you to do is three things. I'm oh, sorry, well, yeah, we're going to, I'm going to put you in, in pairs. You're gonna work with a partner, no se me vayan, porque siempre que menciona que vamos a hablar con ahí, con una pareja y todo, siempre alguien se me va, no se me vayan, la idea es que practiquen. Okay, so we're gonna put you in pairs and you're gonna be, you're going to be saying, for example, I can cook. I can cook. And then you ask the person, can you cook? Okay, example. Can you cook Italian food? Okay, so I can cook. Can you cook Italian food? The person's gonna answer, yes, I can, or no, I can't. Do we understand? So you're going to say, usted va a decir lo que usted puede hacer. I can cook. Then you can say, for example, can you cook Italian food? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Do we understand? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay, perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to sign you right now. I'm gonna give you about five minutes to ask your partner. Okay, so. See. Mm. One question, Miss. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. We can take a pic uh, a picture uh, with the group. Final the the class. Oh, sure, sure, of course. Why not? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Uh, I'm opening the rooms. So go ahead and join your group. Eli, ¿tiene problemas para meterse a un grupo? Eli, ¿tiene problemas? Eli. Eli, ¿me escuchan? ¿No me escucha Eli? Hi, Eli. ¿Me escucha? No me escucha. Perfect. Ride a, bi uh, a bike. You can ride a bike? Yes, I can. Okay. You can swim? No, I can't. <laughs> I can um, ¿Qué puedo hacer? I can Singer, can you sing? Her? Que si puedo cantar, yeah. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> And I can ride a bike. Can you a bike? Ride a bike. <laughs> uh, yes. yes, I can. Yes, I can. Um, can you drive a car? Can ride a bike? Uh, you can ride a bike? No, I can't. Salvador, acuérdense, hay que invertir. So, no, you can. Sería, can you? Can you, perdón, mm -hmm. okay. uh, You can drive no, motorcycle? No, pero you. sorry, sigo con lo mismo. Can you drive motorcycle? Uh, no, I can't. 
uh, but I can drive car. Um. Uh, ahora yo pregunto. Can you, can you, uh, Okay. Um, creo que hacemos todo, ¿verdad? Okay. So, uh, questions? Questions about, uh, about how to talk about abilities or talents? Uh, o sea que en este, es que no sé cómo preguntarlo en inglés, pero... Cuando hacemos ese tipo de oraciones, es todo lo que nosotros eh, somos buenos haciendo. Pero, por ejemplo, no puedo decir... Um, no, bueno, hacer... Sí, olvídelo. <ríe> Yo me había confundido. No, it's okay, it's okay. Tell me, tell me. Yo me había confundido. Es que... Eh, quería preguntar hacer una comida en específica, pero es, es lo mismo lo que estamos haciendo. Entonces, me había confundido <laughs> con la pregunta. Ok, ok. So, this is, this is abilities, abilities and talents. Uh, like when you say in Spanish, yo puedo um, hacer tal cosa. Right? Yo puedo cocinar. Yo, o yo no puedo cocinar. Yo puedo hablar un poco de inglés o yo no puedo hablar un poco de inglés. Right? So, I can, I can. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Sí, sí, comprendo. Es que yo creí que, que había como una limitante a, las, a lo que se podía decir, pero ya la entendí. Oh, no, it's ok, it's ok, no problem. Ok. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, it's ok. Ok. All right, class, so um, so what we're gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna just take a few minutes there to review um, the midterm, the, the final exam. Do you have questions about the final exam? Tienen preguntas? Final exam, any, any sections that you're having problems with? No, miss. No. ¿El examen final está claro? Yes. Yes, you sure? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, acuérdense que la idea es de que podamos tener un 80% especialmente en el examen final. Eh, es importante que, porque el examen final cuesta o vale mucho la ponderación del 40% de la nota completa final. So, so that's why it's very important to do the final exam. Okay. Um, so in the final exam, eh, right. hay alguien que está, aún está bien atrasado allí con las... Um, con el, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, uh, con la plataforma. No. No. Okay. So Janet, 
Are you finished? Bueno, ¿saben qué? Vamos a hacer una cosa mejor. Voy a tirar el, la encuesta. Actually, I I feel the the final exam like the like the one of the eh, module anterior, mo, eh, first module. Mm -hmm. Lo sentí igual, parecido al 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 examen final del module anterior. Oh, okay. okay. Sí, exactamente. I, I already I already did the poll. So ya 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 mandé la encuesta. Eh, creo que todavía me falta una persona que, que vote. No sé quién es, pero me falta uno. Eh, ok. ¡Wow! ¡Eh! Hey, ¡Bravo! ¡Eh! Hey, ¡Excelente! Ok, so everybody's finished the final exam. Ok, o están completando el final. Ok, good, excellent, bravo. Good for you. Ok. Va, aquí les voy a... Les va la... I'm going to share the results so you can see it. Yes. So excellent. Bravo. Yes. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Bueno, chicos, entonces en ese caso sería todo. Ya completamos todo. Y pues um, solo para tomar la foto. Pero para eso van a tener que, que, que prender sus cámaras porque no vamos a solamente tomar una foto de, de puros nombres. <laughs> Es que no nos hemos bañado. No, me <risa> Uy, bueno, con este frío, ¿verdad? Es por el frío, dicha. Ok. Vaya. Ok. Y hey, por fin puedo, voy a poder ver sus caritas. Todos. <risa> es que a veces no, no enciendo la cámara porque el bebé llora y quiere estar conmigo y, y todo eso. <risa> ok, bueno, pero para la, la foto creo que, que, que va a poder. No hay problema. Ok. Ok, Salvador. Ok. ¿Ya sabes? ¿Está ahí? Ok, perfecto. Bueno, entonces tomamos la foto. Ok, si quieren les tomo yo la foto y, después, y se la voy a mandar, ¿ok? ¿Listos? Ok, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, ya está. Les voy a mandar la foto cuando, bueno, al, al grupo de, de WhatsApp les mando la foto. Okay. Así que, bueno chicos, eh, les deseo todo mejor. Acuérdense, si por ejemplo motivo todavía les falta algo en el final exam, todavía tienen tres horitas. Y también acuérdense que tienen uh, que, que mandarlos a uh, antes del 23. Okay. Así que espero que pues... Um, eh, pues todos se cuiden durante estas vacaciones, ¿verdad? Que nos vemos el próximo año y uh, pues um, disfruten, disfruten sus vacaciones. ¿Ok? Gracias. Right. Teacher. Teacher. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 bye, everybody. Bye.